greetings. It is time for Bikmin. It is time for fu- oh. Okay. I should be very clear. This is still the demo. I'm gonna- I, I don't need to unmute that. I'm gonna unmute that just for safety. Uh, oh! Hi, Gizmo! <laughs> I forgot that the gizmo cam was on. Oops. Um. Hey, bitch. Come here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Come here, gizmo. Come here, gizmin. Come on. Come back, buddy. The people want to see you. Bitch. Gizmin. Come here. Come here, my son. Oh, yes. Come here. Gizmo, jump up here. Come on. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, it is Gizmin. Yes, he is my son. He is the mascot, and we all love him. Yes, you do see Bastion there. I was playing it earlier. Uh, very good. Very good. Um... I need to play it more. I only... Literally only made it through the first level. But... Uh, I recognize that it is a very, very good game. Um, Gizmo, yes. Gizmo. Is fucking Gizmo. Okay. I was playing mission mode earlier. And, what, you, um, I got a platinum medal. Uh, literally the first level. But, um, yeah, very good. I, w I was just kind of fucking with the controls a little bit. Trying to see what does and what doesn't work. Um, gyro controls on this with the with the two Joy Cons separated. Yes, Gizmo likes to see the Joy Con. Um, very nice. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, I think that this has the possibility to be the best Pikmin game, straight up. With the new okay, uh, Gizmo, I see you looking up at my new shelves. You cannot sit on the shelves. They cannot support your weight. I only saw uh, Spelunky yesterday with Pikmin 3 lore that I missed. Um, basically, the only things that you missed were the fact that we are not Olimar and Louie. We are Alf, Brittany, and Charlie, three captains from the planet Kopai. And our goal is to gather fruit for our home planet because they ran out of food. That's it. Oh, look, look if science, you can't go into science stories. Side stories comes later. Just, just spoilers. <laughs> anyway, you play as Alf, Brittany, and Charlie. They are separate characters. Also, Pikmin 3 has co-op in the campaign. That's awesome. <laughs> fuck. What the fuck? Where's my boy Captain Ollie? He's in a side story. We'll, we'll get to him later. He's in this game, but you only, you know, do that. If you fail, your planet dies. Yes. So we're, we're playing as Alf, and we only got one captain. Right? Uh, exploration day one. Here we go. Start day from the beginning. No. Actually, exploration day two. That's what I want. Your planet dies a slow death. What's interesting about this game, Jamian, is that... Just when you, my planet is already dead. That's fair. Um, the key difference between this game and uh, the other Pikmin games is that your progress direct is directly related to how much time you have left in in like on the planet so for each bit of fruit that you collect um the more uh what is it the more fruit you collect the more juice you get and the more juice you have the more time you have to um uh go on the planet because each day takes away one juice thing at least in the wii u version i'm not sure about this one uh is that fucking australia yes uh, there's a lot of lore surrounding the shapes of these continents, and we'll get to that later, because that one kind of looks like Antarctica. Anyway. Oh, and we need our cosmic drive key. Somewhere on this planet, the cosmic drive key is lost somewhere, uh, and if we don't get it, we can't get back home. So, that'd be very, very bad. There we go. Exactly. So we have the red onion. That is the only onion we currently possess. Right. Where's Brittany? Perfect. We only got two days of juice left. Australia is a garden fake Earth. Hey, uh, this is like post-human extinction. 
You don't know. You don't know. Brittany should be around here. Something's flashing on my map. Maybe it's her. I'm running out of sustenance, so I hope I find her before it's too late. These dudes always getting stranded on planet. Well, they're not, um, they're not, uh, Hokotashians. They're Kopites. Different. They're neighboring planets, essentially. Okay, Gizmo, just show your whole asshole to the entirety of the internet. Because as you guys know, I'm the only streamer. I'm the only streamer on the... Okay, well, bye, Gizmo. Gizmo cam goes off. That's right, the data file I found explained all this. The onion is the Pikmin nest. Uh, stand un uh, Press A under the onion to take out or return Pikmin. Install the application on my cop pad to see... Let me check Pikmin status remotely. There you go. Gizmo ass. Save that for OnlyFans, Gizmo. Yeah. What a bitch. Okay. So, here we go. We're finally back in the Pikmin game. Uh, that's the button for lock-on. There it is. Anyway, so, um, what is it? We have a few new mechanics. A few, we have a few new mechanics in this game. Mostly the fact that Pikmin AI is, like, actually way smarter than it was in the previous games. Where they can walk off and do tasks remotely without you having to watch them constantly. So you see how these guys are running back to where the pile was? That's, you know, part of their brand new AI. Um, we've only got one captain, and then, yeah, there we go. That's the charge feature. So yeah, the charge feature is also new. You can essentially, when all humanity dies, the onion remains, exactly. Um, when, uh, when you're locked onto things, you can hit X to charge your entire squad of Pikmin at it, which is a little, you know, it's, it's better than spamming, honestly. It's better than spamming the fucking uh, throw Pikmin button. And this is a uh, crystal gate. We can't quite break that yet, but we'll get to it later. We'll get to it later. Uh, how's Timmy's AI? Um, don't be mad at me, Abby. Timmy is not in this game. Purple Pikmin are not in the story, at least involving the three Kopites, in Pikmin 3. But we'll see. We'll see what what uh, they got replaced with. All right, buddy. Uh, just charge. No, I know. I know. How are you going to bully the water wraiths? Well, guess what? There are no water wraiths in this game. Uh, but we'll get we'll get to that when we get to that. Timmy is fucking Timmy's not dead. He's just in the caves. And there are no caves in Pikmin 3. So how are we going to get purple Pikmin if we can't get into the caves? It all makes sense. Also, the bulb orbs have a new weak point. If you throw the Pikmin directly on their eyes, they'll do that little like sneeze forward motion and it just gives you plenty of opportunity to just spam Pikmin at them and kill them. <laughs> we dig. <laughs> well, funny thing, digging is actually a mechanic in this game. What's funny is that yellow Pikmin are the fastest ones at digging. Um, oh yeah, and electricity no longer uh, kills Pikmin instantly. It merely stuns them. It just stuns them for a bit, so it's no longer an instant kill move. It's not Pikmin if there isn't an invisible, if there isn't an immortal invisible stalker bitch that in uh, instails you. SMH those kids. I've had that patch installed my entire life. <laughs> um, yes, so, hey, I'm not saying that there's no water wraith in this game. Ma y ma you know, maybe if we continue playing, maybe we'll see some, some cool interesting, some cool interesting stuff. Electricity no longer instant kills. Yep, that's, Der that's Derek's life patch. Hey, look, it's a bitch. This game is for kids, what the age? Well, I'm actually on hard mode right now. Um, and once I beat this demo, I can I'm gonna unlock the ultra spicy difficulty. And uh, with that, I'm gonna make I'm gonna play this whole game on ultra spicy difficulty. Um, because you know, Pikmin 2 is fucking difficult, and I beat Pikmin 3 already, so just play it on the hard mode. Anyway, 
Why wasn't I moving, you ask? Well, you know me, I'm a pretty sound sleeper, even with all these creatures creeping around. Good job, Brittany. Uh, I discovered what looks like a piece of fruit. It's over there. But I'm kind of stuck here for the time being. Could you go check it out for me? All right, fair enough. Go find the fruit. Look, it's a fruit. Who? <laughs> because the Copites only eat fruit. Uh, if this giant thing really is a fruit, then we've hit the jackpot. I'd like to analyze it with the Drake, but how do I get it there? Hmm. How do I get the strawberry to the SS Drake? Uh, by adding a woman to this game, uh, plus how easy this game means means it's targeted at horny 12-year-olds. Okay. Brittany, where's your plant army? She doesn't have an onion. She just only has onion breath. <laughs> oh, look at that in there. Look at all these big fucking crystals. Oh. oh, no! It's a Medusal Slurker! I actually... The only reason I know what the fuck this enemy is is because I played Mission Mode. There, this is the Medusal Slurker. It's like the uh, greater and lesser spotted jelly floats, but way grosser. Imagine not having an onion. We got Kate! We unlocked Kate! <laughs> Someone ping her! We finally unlocked her! Are these creatures Pikmin 2? Two? Pikmin two? Uh, no, they're Pikmin 3. Uh, they're giving me a funny look. Fucking Kate! Do they want to break it? So rock Pikmin are very interesting. They cannot latch onto creatures. Uh, she can't have an onion, she can't have onion breath, and they only eat fruits. This isn't lore-friendly joke, Mr. Streamer. <laughs> so, their onion was trapped inside that crystal. Anyway, um, rock Pikmin are very interesting. So the whole point of Pikmin is that they can, um, oh, the Drake got the fruit. Uh, the whole point is that Pikmin latch onto enemies and smack them with their heads. Rock Pikmin can't. You're basically just throwing rocks at bad guys the entire time. Hi, Gizmer. Oh, look at this. What is this called? A Sunseed Berry. Hi, Gizman. She's coming. <laughs> Large quantities of Pictamin U detected. It's Pictamin U. It's the uh, this is a seed bearing fruit, making cultivation on Copai possible. Juice from this fruit is safe for consumption by crew members. So Pictamin U is the uh, fucking vitamin that Copai survive off of. Sleepy Jirachi is also streaming Pikmin three. I believe it. Pikmin streamers gotta fucking stand together. It's a lesser love fruit. Fruit file! Let's raid them later? Hell yeah! I'm down. After the stream's over, I'm down. Ah! Okay, so. Uh, Rock Pikmin are very fun. I, I actually really, really like them. I honestly like them more than Purple Pikmin. Genuinely. Just because of how interesting they are from a balance standpoint. Because purple Pikmin are fun because they're unbalanced, right? That's the whole point. Is, um... Is the whole point is that they're like... Re what the fuck? Jesus Christ, Johan. Anyway. Oh, another interesting quality of life thing. So... In previous Pikmin games, if I were to just mash the button right now, I would start throwing, like, different kinds of, like, red and rock and all different types of directions. But no, they got rid of that. Now, you choose what type you, you throw down here by hitting the L button, and you only throw that type. I like that they smack and fall rock plop. Exactly. New sprouts at the same color as the Pikmin that retrieved the pellet or creature. Yes, indeed. Um... Yeah, I really, really like the Rock Pikmin. I, I think they're, I think they're probably, they're not my favorite type. We'll get to my favorite type of Pikmin later. Um, we'll, we'll get introduced to them later. But for now, Rock Pikmin are fucking sick because you, you turn a game that's about throwing different types of like plant-like creatures at enemies, 
to just, hey, I'm gonna throw rocks at this monster till it fucking keels over. <laughs> and that's what it is. It's great. I fucking love Rock Pikmin. I, 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 I can't get enough of them. Favorite type is Timmy. I mean, look, purple Pikmin are fun. I enjoy purple Pikmin a lot. But from like a game designer perspective, I think the Rock Pikmin are more fun in general. Also, to break down these crystal walls, you just throw rocks at it until it breaks. <laughs> My son. Break this fucking egg. Unga Bunga Kate Pikmins. Exactly. Unga Bunga Pikmin. <laughs> they're my favorite because they're the Unga Bunga type. Kill it with rock. Discord, I thought... Fuck, uh, Discord thought I meant the one and the two and not the two and the one. Hey, blame them for their fucking dumb naming convention. <laughs> Can't tell you how happy I'm getting out of this place. I'm sick of sleeping outside and I'm super hungry. Uh, what's with your entourage there? These are called Pikmin? Oh. Alfie. That's right. Brittany calls him Alfie. Ah, yes. We get to learn the other really fun mechanic. You can throw captains in this game. Um, Captains in this game. Like, the captains, there's so much more play uh, stuff that you can do between all the different types of captains. Okay. I did not mean to do that. Um... Oh, oh, okay. Okay. I see they changed up that fucking menu a little bit. Wow, I look so good. They are good. Kate, I just said rock Pikmin are my favorite type of Pikmin. And I genuinely think that. Ah, the go here. The go. Hey. Wait, can you throw that bitch into the grinder? <laughs> can you? No. Hey, do you guys know who that, who those two guys look like? Do you, do you guys know who those two guys look like? I, just, I, don't, I don't know what those two guys look like. Uh, go here. Yes, there's a piece. There's a bit of technology called the Go Here feature. The Go Here feature is fucking sick, and it lets you do more uh sick uh, tactical shit with your Pikmin and your captains. What Go Here is is basically like, hey guys, uh, tell this captain to go here. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Kill this guy, because he's a fucking bitch. Kill that guy, because he's a fucking bitch. And then... Oh, you only charge with the type of Pikmin you have selected. Very interesting. That's a new... That's actually new. Huh. Okay, so... Is that my boy, Ollie? Mm, could be. Could be. New fruit recovered. All right, so we have a strawberry. We got a strawberry and a fucking um, a lemon. And there's another strawberry. Interesting. I wonder. I wonder if we can get the strawberry back. Hmm. <laughs> oh, Pikmin three is so good, man. Pikmin three is so fucking good, bro. Holy shit. Oh, this game is fantastic. You know what? Yeah, throw, throw the reds. So, basically, the reason why I like the purple Pikmin, con uh, the, the rock Pikmin conceptually more than the, pur than the purples is because of what it does to balancing. So, in, um, in Pikmin 2, all you needed were purples, right? And they would just, like, handle everything, right? You didn't need to worry about the reds and how they did slightly more damage or the yellows or, like, any of them. All you needed was purples, and for, like, a few minor situations, the whites, like, you kind of needed them for... S the white Pikmin were very niche, honestly, meaning they were pretty underpowered, all things considered. Um, purple Pikmin were overpowered, so you wanted to... You basically treated the purple Pikmin better than you would any other type because they were so strong. And Pikmin 2 was all about... Uh, dungeon crawling and killing enemies and less about tactics, right? Um, but in this one, purple Pikmin are out of the question, right? And the rock Pikmin, while they deal more damage, technically, it's only the one impact and is not sustained damage overall like the red Pikmin. It, I just, I, mm, the balancing in Pikmin 3 is so much better 
than the balancing in Pikmin 2. Genuinely. And there's so many little quality of life improvements that add up real, real fast. Uh, we'll actually get to um, one of those, uh, to a couple of those quality of life improvements in a sec. Another good thing is that if you leave a captain, if you throw a captain at like a pile of Pikmin that are just kind of stuck there, that are planted, the captain will automatically uh, pluck Pikmin. No stamina. I really am a rock Pikmin. <laughs> Um, yeah, the captain will automatically pluck Pikmin that are around them. So, just, th there's a lot involved with the tactics of this game. And to me, that's where Pikmin shines the brightest, right? Dungeon crawling was a lot of fun in Pikmin 2. But I would argue that the tactical side of, the, of Pikmin is just way more fun in general. The radar is picking something up. Hey guys, that totally wasn't a Wii U gamepad. <laughs> Alright, so there's the goal. I gotta get to that signal over there. Let's go and look that way. Hell yeah. Alright, fiery blowhog, right out the fucking gate. Let's go. I'm gonna buy a CRT from Facebook Marketplace. It's painful waiting for a response from these slow Dude, I know exactly what you're fucking what you fucking talking about. I was trying to buy uh, Star Fox Command from some woman on uh, Facebook Marketplace, and she let the she was basically like just wouldn't cooperate with me in terms of like meeting up for a spot to buy the game from her, and so <laughs> she just let the whole fucking transaction die. Right? Uh, there's no dungeons in this one. Buy cock and raw torture. Yes. Buy a cock and raw torture. So there are no dungeons in this game. It is all back to overworld exploration. Uh, I think that is an overall better move. Um, because, again, while I enjoyed Pikmin 2 for what it was, I still think Pikmin 1 and 3 are much stronger games. Pikmin 3 is obviously the strongest since it just has so many little improvements. It'll be sundown before long. Ha ha he he. Here's the other bit of quality of life improvement. So in Pikmin 1 and 2, it was kind of vague where the borders of your base was. I mean, if you knew video games, you could kind of gauge where they were and plan around that, right? But in this one, it's... You need all the Pikmin in this area, right? And for a game about tactics, you kind of need all the information you can get. So I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this change. I think it is an overall good change. But it is almost sundown. So, hey, we gotta get these we gotta get these boys back to their onion. Hold on. Oh shit. <laughs> the fucking, the fucking thing. Alright. Come on, boys. Get your buddy get your buddy back over there. Right now, please. <laughs> Alf will take care of you. Don't worry. Ah. Uh. There we go. And now we got a bunch of rock Pikmin with us. And since I hacked my PS2, it looks like ass on a modern HDTV. I want to snag a CRT and put it on my computer desk so I can play the game without eye strain. Nice. Or just, you know, play an emulator. <laughs> okay. So we're almost done with our first day. There's quite a bit that we can do. Um, Right out the gate, honestly. So here, we're gonna, oh, wait, hold on. There we go, the new captain switching system. I actually really like that. Instead of just cycling between all of your guys, hold on, where is, there's a Pikmin that's lost. Oh no, what are you doing? Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a, there's a boy over here that got trapped. Oh no. There he is. Okay. Okay, cool. PS2 emulation is shoddy at best. It's made progress for sure, but is not in a good spot. IMO. Been following since August of last year. Well, damn, I appreciate that, Duhan. Pikmin inside the onions seem to be increasing in numbers. Yeah, yeah, the game's like, oh, man, you can't exceed a number of 100 fucking whatevers. It's fine. <laughs> you can't have more than 100 Pikmin out in the field. We've all... We all know that part of the game. Or at least you should if you've been following my channel up until this point. If not, hey, welcome. I appreciate the fact that you're here. Uh, this one. Save the boy. We have saved the boy. Don't worry. 
We have all of our boys, and th they give you a very handy counter. If there are any... Oh, shit. What's up? Hey, guys. It's dinner time. It's dinner time. It's dinner time. Pikmin 3 is very good. It's still very good. All right. I got some za. I'll enjoy some za after... Uh, after uh, the first day is over. So yeah, they give you a really nice handy counter up there for like, hey, fuck face, you got some boys that need saving. Uh, how many Pikmin can you have on the field again? Uh, 70, exactly 70, no more, no less. <laughs> we are the wonderful 101. Alrighty, nice. Okay. So, we're, we've, we've officially ended our first real day in Pikmin 3. I, I actually really like the way the onion's legs kind of like squidge out of its body. I don't know. Like, something about that animation is just really satisfying to me. It's gross, and I like it. It looks more alien, you know? Oh, man, what's going on? What's going on with the onions? Oh, shit! The onions merged into one? What? Yes. So now... So now, instead of having multiple onions to house different types of Pikmin, or having Pikmin be in your ship or whatever, now all different types of Pikmin Merge into one onion. Okay, Duhan. Onion fusion dance. It really is. Let's analyze the other fruit, too. Hey, the face wrinkler. So these motherfuckers are going to drink straight lemon juice. It's going to be a real fucking tart night for them. Like, that is straight lemon juice. But, okay, you know what? Strawberry lemon juice... That, that's fine. I think that's I think that's a good combination. I love the juice fit. I've always loved the juice physics in this game. Holy shit, it's so good. Okay. I'll ration out the juice. No extra gulps for anybody. There it is. Merged onions. Dan, Pikmin 3 just ended racism. <laughs> My favorite Batman movie. <laughs> Alrighty. A win for Shrek, a win for love. There you go. And we lost zero Pikmin today. That's a good thing. Back on board, we ran an analysis on the fruit we retrieved. We found it suitable for copiate consumption. It looks like there's plenty more where that came from. Uh, reuniting with Brittany, f uh, finding the fruit. It's still early, but themes seem things seem to be taking a turn for the better. Signed, Alf. At the end of the day, you get one of the three captains that give you a sort of a report. Uh, real gamers lose. Real gamers lose ninety nine Pikmin in the submerged castle. <laughs> Exploration day three. I wonder how far I'm going to be able to get in this game, because it's a it's still a demo. Remember this. This is just a demo. So very curious to see how far I can get in this. After close analysis, my conclusion is that the fruit juice is delicious. <laughs> Never tasted anything like that on Kopai. We need to continue our search. If there's more to be had, we should have it. There you go. Let's focus all of our energy on finding more fruit and absolutely nothing else. We still need that cosmic drive key. We can't get home without that. Right, let's focus all of our energy on retrieving fruit and the key and absolutely nothing else. The captain. We still need to find the captain as well. Right? Okay, so we'll get food, the key, and the captain. Is there anything else I'm forgetting? No. This is a long demo. Yeah, right? Fuck, I'm actually getting absorbed into the story, though. Hey, Derek, all I'm saying is Pikmin 3 is a fantastic entry point into the series. Genuinely. I think that with it coming out on the Switch now, and the demo is out, like, you have no excuse, right? And I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, like... You can you can say like hey, Pikmin two is Pikmin one and Pikmin two are on the GameCube and that requires about 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 No, 
It's on the Switch. It plays perfectly. It runs better than the Wii U version. Um, and I'm going to buy it day one. Okay, if you want to buy it day one also, Derek, you can do that. Um, Pikmin 3 is a fantastic game. Uh, anyway, chat. Um, here, I'm going to go ahead and prep a little something. Um, <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, okay, here we go. And then if we do this. Dinner time. It's dinner time, chat! Ooh! <laughs> it's dinner time! Hoo hoo hee hee hoo hoo, it's dinner time! <laughs> get, um, get za. Hell yeah. Okay, so. We have now switched over to a slight podcast version of this show where I will be eating pizza not in a mukbang I will I will uh I will turn the mic away from myself when I am stuffing my face full of za how are y'all doing tonight chat how do you feel about Pikmin 3 so far I'm curious to know what you guys think of it either someone who's new to the channel or someone who's watched um the series all the way through well I want to know more so like <laughs> Oh, wait. So, Kate wants a mukbang? So, like... <laughs> Pikmin 2 was very good, right? I've said this before. Pikmin 2 was very good for what it was. However, I still think 3 and 1 are the better games overall. And now that, now that Pikmin 3 has the Piclopedia, like, there's no, like, there's nothing, there's nothing on this game that, uh, Pikmin, like, Pikmin 2 was the only game that had the Piclopedia, right? And now that 3 has it, it's, like, the best game. And you get a side story involving Olimar and Louie? Fuck, man. I hope you can tell how much I fucking love these games. Holy shit. I'm going to be honest, man. Pikmin 1, you can honestly skip. Um, well, I wouldn't say skip. You can play that one... Like, you play that one after 3 and be just fine. Right. Pikmin 4 win. All right. Um, Der Derek and I were talking about this. And we think that Pikmin 3 Deluxe is absolutely a gauge whether or not Pikmin 4 will do well. It's probably just sitting in a fucking floppy disk. <laughs> floppy disk. Probably sitting in like a fucking flash drive somewhere in Nintendo HQ in their fucking gigantic vault full of bullshit. Um, but they just won't release it because they don't know if Pikmin is um, a good... A floppy disk is Nintendo. You know what? I wouldn't even be surprised, actually. If they have Pikmin 4 stored on, like, uh, 74 floppy disks. Yeah, that makes sense. So, I'm just going to say this. If you got a Nintendo Switch, Pikmin 3 would not be a bad decision. And hey, even if you're still on the fence... You can play the demo and see if you like it or not. I guarantee you they're going to... I, I want to say they're going to factor in downloads of the demo. Cameron is single-handedly reviving the Pikmin franchise. Hell yeah. It's like how the new Hyrule Warriors is to hype up Breath of the Wild 2. Exactly. Exactly. Except they know Breath of the Wild 2 will sell well. They don't know if Pikmin 3 will sell well. This game comes out fully on October 30th. <laughs> oh, you know what? Here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a little something, something. Um, hang on. There we go. And we're going to have... How do I...
There we go. And then if we have a stroke, do we have a stroke? Outline. There we go. Eight days after the Pokemon DLC. Even if I won't play it for a while, I'll dip in and support the Pikmin Uprising on Halloween. Hell yeah. Found a free CRT 15 minutes away, apparently, if only most of these fucks would actually respond. God, I... Straight up, I hate buying things on the, um... On the Facebook Marketplace. It's, it's a, it's a shitty experience. There we go. And then if we change the font to... To Atma. My favorite font right now. There we go. Dinner time. Okay. Uh, just do some investigation and dox them. Show up at their house. <laughs> I mean, honestly, you probably could just go onto their Facebook account and find their address. Facebook is really good at just finding and archiving people's personal information. Be that a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> we unlocked Kate. I was I'm very excited for that. We're also going to unlock another specific chat member who has decided to be a specific type of Pikmin later. Which he's not here right now, but if he shows up, I'll let him know. <laughs> here, you know what? Let's go ahead and hit the talk button. I'm Pikmin. Talk, talk, joy. Hmm. The buds on Pikmin's heads can bloom into flowers. These flower Pikmin seem to be really lively. Maybe we can learn something from them. What if we took that extra time for ourselves as well? Yeah. Maybe we're late bloomers. If we ever get too anxious, we should just nip that in the bud and everything should be coming up roses. I'm not one for flowery speech, but we should stop beating around the bush, Brittany. Wait, I can't stop. Alf, you're shaking like a leaf. No, no, now I've got it too. I think I'm just exhausted. This will clear up if I just hit the hay. Hmm. Fucking boomers, no wonder their economy is fucked. Yep. Their economy. This is our economy too, motherfucker. Okay. I just got a ping from the Render96 Discord. I like to, to chat below the crew members. We're on their ship listening to them. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go back to that. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> this is really funny. There's going to be a lot of cool shit coming in the future from Pikmin 3. I guarantee it. We are their Pikmin spies. Hell, yeah. I am... So goddamn excited to really sink my teeth into this game again. Because I really, really enjoyed my time with it on the Wii U. Like, honestly, Pikmin 3 was the game that I was like, all right, well, I need a Wii U. I was going to get a, I got a Wii U regardless before I even knew Pikmin 3 was announced. But um, Pikmin 3 was one of the games where it's like, please don't eat games, Cam. No. When are we getting... <laughs> Alright, Duhan. I'm, a, I'm only going to say this once. I I think I've... No, I told Captain Clown. I'm only going to tell you this once. You're, you're totally fine to watch my older content. Please don't bring it up on stream. This is the only time I'm going to say this. And, act, and if you actually bring that stuff up again on stream, I no shit will time you out for 30 minutes. Personally. Again, you're free to watch it. It's available on my channel. Please do not bring it up on stream. I will ask politely. Anyway. <laughs> Back to fun time with Pikmin 3. You know what I didn't do? I didn't get a drink. This is the one thing I didn't fucking do. All right, you know what? I've had this go on for long enough. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead 
and go to the next level. All right, back to the Garden of Hope. Because there is a signal there that we need to uh, we need to see what's up with it. Hmm. All right. Can we also just talk about how fucking gorgeous this game is? Like, holy shit. Anyway, we're gonna bring out... We're gonna bring out 30 of both types. I understand, but uh, for my current audience and the audience that I'm trying to build up, the last thing I want to show them is my old content. So, za time over. Time to nom on healthy stuff like fruit. Ha! Like a faggot? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get canceled for that shit. I, genuinely, I need to eat more fruit. Oh god, 30 cates. Genuinely, I do need to eat more fruit. Uh, it's one of the things that I am sorely lacking in my diet. Um, oh god. So you guys want to know something fun about Rock Pikmin? It's that they can't get smushed. They're immune to crushing damage. So, Kate is the perfect counter to Wallywogs. My most hated enemy in all of Pikmin. Kate destroys them. So, Kate is the best. Immune to smush. Actually, immune to smush. <laughs> ah! Look at this leaf motherfucker. Go get him, Brittany! So yeah, you can see the rock pigment are kind of just running into the wall because they can't their little stubby arms can't grab onto it. They have to just run into it because they're rocks. Oh fuck this this fucking thing. Oh yeah. We'll come back to this. <clears throat> we will come back to this section. There's really nothing we can do here. Oh no. Oh no. Who's gonna win this duel? Who's gonna win this duel? I think it's Kate. Yeah, Kate won. That. Ah. Yep, there it is. Oh, congratulations, Kate, for winning the duel. Um, Abby and or Derek, could you give Kate a uh, thirty dollar dues? Thirty of those little little pad dollars. Oh, come on, throw. And then we'll throw we'll throw you some rocks. We'll throw you some reds. I don't know how. Um, it is exclamation mark currency. Uh, it's currency. Uh, the two and the one. Add. Uh, and then thirty. PayPal, Derek. <laughs> Send me thirty tall. You are ugly. You are disgusting. I'm gonna kill you. Give me two hundred dollars. <laughs> oh man all right let's see if there it is cool good job good job y'all y'all did it this is why y'all are the mods whenever someone wins a duel i'm gonna start like a little fucking not tradition but like a little thing where it's like hey you know you get you get you get money you know you get a little money for winning a duel just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Not a whole lot. I paid you for hug. <laughs> a good hug. Ooh. Ooh, I wonder what's in there. The signal seems like it's coming from over there. Hmm. How fascinating. I wonder what we're gonna find in there. What's for dinner? Oh! <laughs> I still have dinner time on the screen. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Kate literally got paid to murder someone. This chat is toxic. Mm? Wonder when we'll have the sudden demo demo over screen. I'm waiting for that. You know what I think it is? I think the demo is gonna end at that boss that's currently inside that building. Um, let me double check and just see what we have here. What the fuck? Hold on, hold on. What the fuck is this? Um, what can we do? What can we do? There really isn't much we can do aside from kill the that boss. Nice. Ah! Thank you, Ricky. 
I appreciate the follow. Derek challenged me. What was dinner? Dinner was pizza. It was good pizza. I still have a slice left, though. So I have to, uh, I gotta, I gotta eat it. Oh, it's the fucking, uh, Spectre Mustelid. No, Mustelid is an otter. Um, speckless thing. I, uh, the butterflies are called weird things. Show me slice. Slice. There you go. It's not delivery. It's a dick in my ass. <laughs> oh, man. Welcome, Ricky, to the stream. Hope you hope you like what you hear, buddy. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I love when the Pikmin sing. It's great. This game is adorable. This game is just... Pikmin is always adorable. Oh, by the way, those um, Pikmin 3 videos that we watched on the Discord channel, which, hey, if you want to jo if you want to join my Discord channel, you can you can click that link in chat and become a part of my Discord community. Um, Gizmo turned into a pizza. Oh, no. Um, the, um, the Pikmin videos that we watched on the Discord, they're just available on YouTube now. Nintendo was like, hey, let's just post them on YouTube. Fuck it, whatever. And uh, yeah, they're they're available on there. Do you think Pikmin is cute? <laughs> it can, it's very cute, but it can be horrifying at the same time, and that's why I love it. I like I like the combination of like oddly cute with unsettling undertones. It's very. I think that's a really fun combination in my eyes. <laughs> anyway, look at that. What's this data file doing all the way out here? My search for treasure continues with no luck, but I can fly back home to Hokotate without procuring... But I can't fly back home to Hokotate without procuring a few priceless artifacts. I'm sensing something valuable up ahead, but I'm also sensing danger. So if someone were to find this data file, please send word to my son that I didn't make it. I bet, uh... I bet Jamian really likes that data file, huh? Captain Olimar? There's another captain who's been through here? And he's from Hokotate? People from this planet go to... S People from their planet go to such extremes to scavenge treasure. Maybe it's all the vegetables they eat that makes them so treasure-crazed. Brittany literally just called Olimar a filthy fucking Jew. <laughs> well, sad to say it looks like this Olimar met his end up ahead. We'd better be careful. Olimar's fucking dead. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. They're all fucking dead. <laughs> we got some lore over here, buddy. We got some lore. Something doesn't feel quite right here. <gasps> <laughs> I'm a streamer. I got. I gotta like. I gotta over fucking. I gotta really overact my reaction. <laughs> Was that good acting, y'all? Was that good acting? Ha! Ah. Ha! Ah. Break it! Throw rocks at it until it dies! Throw rocks at it until it dies! Wait! No rocks! What is a duel? Okay, so, Ricky does not know. Uh, moderators, could you please fill Ricky in on what uh, the little chat bubbles on the bottom of the stream uh, tend to... You can fight other people in chat, yeah. Dumbass veggie eater needed to eat a nanner, and now he's in the slammer. <laughs> he's in a fucking monster's gullet. Uh, have you seen Miss Karen? Racism is in her blood. Anyway, there he is. Oh, we killed one of his fucking things. All right, cool. Rock his block! Fucking Minecraft Steve is in Smash Brothers, guys! <laughs> oh, man. Okay, where are you? There you are. Okay, okay. Hey, mods, uh, grant Ricky some... Oh, no, that was Duhan. Grant the winner of the duel some dollary dues. 
I'm sure they would appreciate that. Come on, you bastard. Get over here. It's soft on the inside. Just kill it. Just kill it. What's your reaction to Olimar and Smash? He used to be my fucking main, dude. Unironically. I fucking loved Olimar and Smash. Okay. Huh. Where are you, buddy? Break those fucking shells! We have to get into the gooey insides! Did you get the Pikmin amiibo? Yeah, I do. I, I did get the Hey Pikmin amiibo. Ah, keep away! Oh no! How on earth will I fucking defeat this menace? <laughs> so I, I'm pretty sure this monster, like this boss fight, is going to be the end of the demo. Uh, which is sad to say, but... You know, at the at, at some point, they have to end the demo, right? And if they're going to end it at any point, it's going to be at this moment. But hey, I'm still going to beat it. Oh, uh, I believe that's the correct one. I don't know. Is the boss a worm or a caterpillar? Uh, yes. Yes, you're correct, Ricky. <laughs> Where is it hiding? Where is it hiding? <laughs> huh! Huh! There he goes! What a bastard! But guess what? He's too soft on the inside! Is he dead yet? Oh, motherfucker! Come on, asshole. Where are you? There he is. I'm gonna throw one rock at this guy and he's gonna fucking keel over. <laughs> Plot twist, Pikmin is simply a reason for Nintendo to add a fuck ton of amiibo for $50 each. Each Pikmin have their own personality, each fucking one $60. I'd be down with that, actually. <laughs> oh, shit! It's a, it's a, uh, what the fuck is this? Um, it looks like a, it looks like a smartphone, but like, got way too many buttons? I don't know. $600 for my Timmy, only 40k war army is a small price to pay. <laughs> Imagine a fucking Pikmin game, but in like a fucking Warhammer setting. No, not a Warhammer, in a fucking 4X style. Uh, like the fucking, the, the top-down tactical RPG games, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? 4X? Does anybody know what a 4X game is? Am I the only one? Anyway, he spat up a dragon fruit, that's pretty fucking sick. Not gonna lie. Actually, you know what? As much as I like the rock Pikmin, I'm going to have the red Pikmin take the corpse of the monster. Uh, simply because red Pikmin are still the best for fighting. Uh, they were in Pikmin 1, and that holds true in Pikmin 3. It's like the number pad you used to make a phone call, but with physical buttons. It's weird. I know, right? It's very weird. I like how they're dragging its corpse along the ground. That's a nice touch. Anyway, I believe there was a hidden thing over here. Um, is that right? There should have been like a hidden data file in here somewhere. Oh, it's a little fucking alcove for you to hide in. How convenient. I guess I got the data files. The only downside that we have to using gyro over the Wii Remote is because there's no, like, constant uh, reference point. So you have to constantly hit... It's like the same in the Mario Galaxy port on Switch, where you have to hit um, R, the uh, right shoulder button, to recenter your gyro every now and then. Um, it's honestly not too bad, but it's one of those annoying things that we had to deal with since there's no absolute reference point, like with the Wii Pointer, you know? Oh, well. Just the shit we gotta deal with when it comes to gyro aim. I'm okay with it. 
The Jackbox Trivia Murder Party 2, there's a mini game where you have to use an old school phone like the circle number thing, and I still can't. Wait, you don't know how to fucking use a goddamn fucking. Wait, how do you fucking dis disperse your party? Hold on, how do you, how do you disperse your party again? Um, switch leader, open cop pad, reset camera, uh, select throw, charge, look around, dodge left, dodge right. What the fuck even I can? <laughs> Rotary phone, I'm not smart. The shapes confuse me. Oh my god. Do I have to hold the button? No. Oh, that's how you do it. Okay. Y and then down. You are a rock. It is okay. Kate is the rock of this family. I'm just rock headed. There you go. Kate is just rock headed. But she's still an amazing mother. I hate, I hate what this meme has evolved into. It's fucked. Anyway, we got the cell phone back. <laughs> oh, man. Analyzing. Oh, a message from the Drake. Analyzing recovered item. Hmm. The data glutton. <laughs> like, I fucking love the names that uh, Pikmin fucking uses for its stuff. I love the fact that this phone is still on, by the way. It's an ancient communication device used on this planet. It contains technology unknown to Kopai and is emitting a signal even now. It gets worse every time she surprises us with a, with a cursed post. Yeah, you know what? It's fu I like that, actually. I like staying on my toes about that shit. I'll have Alf take a look at, it, at this tonight to see if we have any use for it. He might have a few ideas with his engineer's expertise. So, you have a squad of three. Oh, hold on. I just I want to show this. <laughs> Man, look at all those reds. Oh, they're great. Anyway, um, you have a squad of three people that are trying to... <laughs> Throw the rock at the butterfly. Um, yeah, you have, a group of, you have a group of three people who are going to an, um, an alien planet to try to find edible matter. Edible plant matter, specifically. So, you got the engineer, because you need an engineer on a ship like this. You have the captain, obviously. And you have Brittany, who's the botanist of the group. So, she's the one who knows how plants work. I have to make a wholesome Kirby art uh, then, I guess. There you go. Schlorp the boss. Exactly. I love that. I love that just watching it. Just, like, just right in there. Just schlorped all the way up. Anyway, I'm excited to have Kate and Brittany go, Hmm, I would like to go search for Charlie, our beloved captain, but appears it appears this is the end of the demo. Uh, you can go buy Pikmin 3 on the Nintendo eShop. Hey, honestly, three days out of a demo? That's not that bad. That's not that bad. If this is the end of the demo, I'll just switch over to Spelunky 2. Um, maybe I'll do a mission, uh, a couple mission mode things. I don't know, get the most out of this demo. Mmm, new fruit! The fire breathing feast. I like it. I like it. Oh, yeah, strawberry and dragon fruit. Okay. If you've eaten dragon fruit, you'll know that the inside is not pink. <laughs> you'll know the inside is a fucking pasty white, full of seeds. It's disgusting. But my sister likes it, so whatever, I guess. Bottoms up! Damn. This is great. We actually have a little bit of a juice buffer. Hell yeah, we do. And then you... Yeah, look at that. Look at all those fucking... Look at all those fucking red Pikmin we just got. Hell yeah. Dragon fruit's fine. You know, I I don't think it's the armored mod ad. That's what the boss is called. I don't think it's the worst thing in the world, but um, yeah, it's fine. 
We've recovered the communication device that was inside the armored Maudad. According to Alf, this device contains parts that may expand the Drake's communication range. I've never seen him so excited. I'm more than happy to write today's report while Alf examines the device. Sometimes he can be so diligent. Alrighty. You can now fight the armored Maudad as a defeat boss's mission. Woo! What the fuck did you just say, AJ? This concludes the demo. Demo save data can be imported into the full version if you'd like to continue your progress. As a bonus for defeating the Armored Mod ad, some extra missions and ultra spicy difficulty will be unlocked in the full version. All right. That's the end of um, the Pikmin 3 demo. Honestly, it's a free demo. If you have a Switch, download it, try it out. See if you like it. Pikmin th Pikmin is one of my favorite franchises of all time. Straight up. Duke it out the only way we know how. With a duel. Exactly. Do Han and AJ. Get dueling, bitch. <laughs> um, but on October 30th, I will absolutely be streaming this game. Um, I'm very, very excited for uh, my opportunity to replay this game. And then right after, uh, I will uh, I'll be playing uh, Pikmin 251 um, on uh, after this game because I want to have like this I want to see how the fans treated Pikmin, whereas how Nintendo treated Pikmin after the split after like essentially it's a split in Pikmin 2, right? I want to see how um, different people handled that type of game. Uh, congratulations, Abby. <laughs> for winning that uh for winning that duel uh abby you're a moderator so you don't get to award yourself with any money <laughs> i'm kidding you can if you want I don't, I don't think it matters anyway i need to add more hats gotta add that fedora gotta add the big cowboy hat for jagged It was a non-profit beatdown. <laughs> that's a really good... That's a really good sentence. Holy shit. That's some shit like a nun would say. Anyway. Is Bingo Battle not... Mm. Okay. Okay. So. Bingo Battle. Two words... The best part of Pikmin 3. Bingo Battle is one of my favorite modes in Pikmin, period. I have played it like three times, but it is so goddamn fun. And I hope they make it online. Duhan, language. Okay. Okay. So, Duhan, that's rude. So, I guess to just get more out of this demo, I'm going to go ahead and do... <laughs> I like looking down. Gizmo, don't eat my fucking pizza. I like looking down and seeing a rock Pikmin just go, Respect your motherfucking mother! Oh my god. That was really funny. I'm going to um, do one of the mission modes, right? I will time you out, okay? <laughs> yeah, Duhan. I give, Der I give Derek full permission to time out people he thinks are too rowdy. Full, like, if he thinks it's necessary to do it, do it. All right. I'm eating some more pizza. But after this, I'm going to do the mission. Let me go ahead and do this. There we go. Mmm. Ricky, do you mean... Um... Do you mean, like, playing at night? Because no. That is still not in the game. <laughs> 
Dimmer time. Dimmer time. <laughs> So like, are you asking if the time limit ends per day you get to play after that? Mm, no. No, you still cannot do that. Um, Pikmin 3 is a very tactically oriented game, and having that time limit above your head is like the whole crux of the game. So... Uh, but here, we're going to dive into mission mode real quick. Mission mode is fucking fun. Um, I play the demo? Okay, then. But uh, I'm going to show off a little bit of mission mode. Because this was not in uh, Pikmin 1. I think it was in Pikmin 2 also. But in Pikmin 3, they really, like, they really made it awesome, I feel. Um, I've already played this mission. So I'm going to be trying to... Um, I'm going to be trying to uh, really... <laughs> I'm going to be really trying to do good here, chat. So, we'll see what happened. We'll see what happened. Pikmin, Pikmin, Pikmin! I'm bad with time games like that because I space out. <laughs> well, can't space out in Pikmin. You got to know what you're fucking doing. Go over there, bitch. Actually, no. You help me get the fucking uh, iridescent glint beetle. Here we go. While we wait, we must get nectar. Perfect. Okay. So, the whole point of mission mode is you see that big old timer on the top left of the screen? Yep. That's what we gotta do. We're on a specific map. We've got a time limit available. We got a time limit holding us back, and we have to get all the fruit imaginable in the allotted time. Uh, when I play Stardew, I occasionally lose a day because I just stare blankly at my hands. Jesus fucking Christ, Kate. It's another Medusal Slurker! <gasps> Do you see what he has? He has rocks, boys! Oh, they're great. No, 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 no. We have to get the red Pikmin to throw them. Also, uh, mission mode has total co-op support. So, uh, you can play this uh, fucking tactical game with your friends and yell at them for being bad at tactics. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. <laughs> Come on, buddies. So it's actually kind of important to get all your Pikmin up to a flower form so they can run faster while they're doing their uh, their tasks, one would say. Bro, I was doing my tasks. <laughs> and the only and the cool thing about mission mode is that you only need a bronze to win, but you know, we're not a bronze only family. We go for platinum ranks here in this in this house. We go for platinum ranks, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Huh. Okay, so these motherfuckers here have got to do their work. If Derek gets the game, you can do co-op missions. That's the thing. I don't know if it'll support online. Even if it does, Nintendo's online is notoriously bad. So who knows? Take the fucking cherries. Take the fucking cherries. I'm going to leave... A couple of those boys there to do dirty work. I'll cut. You know what? How much do you need? Ten. I will come back for you. I will come back. For I'll leave a couple more to get rid of that, of that gold pile. Yeah, Derek. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Not the glass boy. <laughs> come on. Come on, bitch. Uh, there we go. Break down this gate. I, I don't think we can. But you know what we can do? We can get some boys started on this. We got some boys over here. Okay, okay, okay. I'm stressing a little bit. I'm stressing a little bit. I shouldn't be stressing. This is just like normal Pikmin. Except it's on a time limit. Okay, okay. So here's the thing. You can't uh, regrow Pikmin in this mode. 
you have to, you only have the number of Pikmin they're gonna give you, and you gotta make it work. You, it's all you get, buddy. Make it fucking work. All right, so uh, I cannot make this mission work. Okay, well that's cool. <laughs> like generations, Nintendo's online is only good with certain games. Hopefully this will be an exception, like generations, because the devs know what they are doing. It's choice. Um, yeah, generations is a very particular uh, um, exclusion to that. Uh, a Nintendo online is garbage rule. Uh, mostly because I think uh, it was Capcom that did the online and not Nintendo, and that's probably the only reason why it's good. <laughs> Straight up. Alrighty. Look at all these boys over here. Look at all these boys just hanging out, not doing fucking anything. Are you kidding me? Okay, so... Just, just bring that back. Just bring that back. Slide. Yeah, slide time. Did we leave? We did leave the big red bulb board behind. Okay, so we have one room left. And then that's the end, I believe. We've only got one room left full of a few... Like a, like a single enemy and a bunch of fruit that we gotta get. Ah, no! There's one fucking thing. Unmarked Spectralid! That's what the fucking butterflies are called. They're called Unmarked Spectralids. I'm glad I remembered that now during this very crucial time of mission mode. So that's a whip tongue Bulborb. Uh, it's gross. I don't like him. I don't like He's like a goblin. I don't like goblins. Alright, bitch. Come on. Get up. Please. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Alright, well... Fine, just take that back. Just take that back. <laughs> Please, I need help. Please. Oh, that's the last little motherfucking thing left. Come on, come on. That's the last bit of the game left. Oh, it's gonna be all based on this. All right, you know what? Everybody, everybody's gotta do their part. Everybody pick this guy up. Pick him up, go, 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 go. Get him back, get him back. If only you had a Timmy. Well, the Timmy wouldn't do it very fast now, would he? Come on. Come on. Come on. 33, 32, 31. Okay, so... Oh, no! I actually did worse than my last run. I managed to get down to 31 seconds. Because all the time you have left gets converted into points at the end of a mission. Um, Timmy is slow. Yeah, he's a slow boy. So, yeah, not, not a better score. He'd be making progress. So, hey, Abby, you want to know something real fun? Um, in certain mission modes, you actually do get some Timmies. Timmy actually shows up in mission mode. And you're right, he does make progress. <sighs> I actually did that pretty poorly. I felt like I could do a, I felt like I could do a lot better. When it comes to that mission in particular, um, but yeah, Timmy, Timmy, the white and purple Pikmin do show up in mission modes. <laughs> you guys are playing after hours. <laughs> Take all my money, Pikmin. So yeah, the the good thing about purple purple Pikmin is that like that apple that requires ten Pikmin. Nah, just send one Timmy at it. There you go, done. He'll eventually get there. Just leave him to his own devices. He'll eventually get there. <laughs> I don't like the whispers. I never got a drink. I'm very thirsty right now. <laughs> We've been over this. All right. You know what? Okay. I'm going to take like a five, like less than five minute break. I'm going to go get myself some water. Uh, I'll be back. Maybe we'll do some Spelunky runs after this. Or maybe we'll play something else. I don't know. I got a bunch of fucking games on my Switch. We could fucking do whatever. Um, we could, we could play whatever, man. Because the demo's over. I got to wait until the game is out. But for the time being, we can just kind of do whatever. Remember to hydrate, homies. Exactly. Hydro homie time. Anyway, I'll be back in like five minutes.
I return with hydration. Friend. <laughs> Friend. <laughs> I, li I like that post, Abby. That's a good screenshot you managed to grab. <laughs> Pikmin fusion dance. Friend. Thorohedero memes in my Discord server. Anyway. So, we got about 45 minutes of the stream left. Uh, is there anything in particular y'all want to see? I got my Switch open. So I'm down to continue playing Switch games for the time being. Let me go ahead and switch over to my... Get in Discord? Alright, give me one second. Let me change to my uh, good controller and not have to play with fucking Joy-Cons all the time. I believe it's like this. Connect, please. What games do you have? I, I whatever you want, man. Uh, I got a bunch of games on PC, uh, and I could I could switch over to a PC game, but uh, really the things that I feel like would be fun for me would either be Mario 64 or Spelunky. I, you know, I think those are gonna be the only two choices. Oh, I'm still on the BRB screen. Did not mean to do that. Oops. There we go. We're back. So yeah. Um, Mario 64 or Spelunky. Those are going to be the, those are going to be the choices moving forward. So, whatever y'all want to see, please let me know. Baba is you. No. <laughs> no. I I do not want to have a stream that is me sitting in silence thinking for like 20 minutes. I'm not doing that on stream. Mario 64. All right, cool. Let me go ahead and get Mario 64 set up. Hang on, I'm gonna go, I need to go ahead and put my headset on and join the Discord. Baba is you, you is stupid. That's the only combo I ever get. It's a good combo, not gonna lie. Nope, stop it, turn off, hold on. There we go. And then we minimize that, put this over here, put that over here. Uh, and then we do that, and then we wait for that to boot up. I don't know what to do now. Well, we're, I'm going to play some Mario 64. So for the time being, I'm going to switch over to... Super Mario 64. Ba, 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 ba. And then I'm going to tag this. There we go. Update. Hell yeah. Okay. So, because that's the end of the Pikmin 3 demo, I can't play the game until October 30th, unfortunately. Uh, and I can't contain... Oh. Mario. And I can't oh, no. keep a whole stream going based on just me talking about my fucking shelves. Um, hang on one sec. Why is it so fucking loud? Why is it so fucking loud? Hang on. I gotta fix this. Give me a sec. Excuse me? Okay, hang on. Hang on, that's not supposed to be that. I'm supposed to be able to go into my game. Derek, if you're still listening, join in the stream chat. All right, we're just waiting on Mario 64 to boot up. Sometimes and it just I'm takes here. a while. Hi, Derek. I can hear you echo. Oh, hang on, let me fix that. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh no, my save file got deleted. What? Oh no, my save file got deleted. Bro, I was 100%ing this fucking game last night. Ah. Uh, uh, go to uh open up file explorer for me. All right. Uh I guess I'll have to do this. All right, what's up? Open up Okay, so I I need you to go into my documents. You're going to go to my games. Mhm. And we'll see if there's a save file there. Uh, my games. Here we go. Yeah. Do you see anything related to uh Super Mario 64? 
I do not. Oh, I tried. Yep. Oh well, you know what? You know what? It's fine. We'll just start over. I'll just start over. Uh, you may want to see if there's a reason why it didn't hold on to your save file. You don't want to start a whole new one just to find out that it goes away. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I understand. I'll look into it. Uh, maybe I have to rebuild the mod pack. Oh, so it could it could be something to do with your I and I, dot I and I file. Dot any. Dot any. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I do not like the large head. Your desktop always hurts me. Abby, what are you talking about? My desktop is flawless. Pav has the best desktop. I do have the best desktop. It's simply the best. Oh, that means I gotta fucking unlock Luigi again. Yeah, you gotta get the boy. Uh, all right. Well, whatever. We'll go unlock Luigi, then. I at least know where most of the keys are. Oh, moderators. Hang on. What is up with my fucking stream? That was weird. What was- is that- what was the name of that bot? Uh... Oh, uh, Abby got it. Abby- Abby Bandit? Yeah, also there's someone in the chat called Let's Do This Streamers. Yeah, I know. That's just probably a bot. I told. But, but the bot hasn't commented, so that one gets a pass. I mean, yeah. Plenty of bots just pop up and stream every now and then, but they don't make annoying posts like that, so it's fine. And they're like, hello, I am a bot. Well, yeah. If they make it known that they're a bot, then yeah, I will ban them. Anyway. I'll, uh, I'll look into why my save file got corrupted. Because, uh, shouldn't have happened. Genuinely got... shouldn't have happened. How do you know it got corrupted? Maybe it's just not reading it. Maybe it didn't actually save. Well, well, because why did it, why did it save for, you know, the past couple of days, like, the past, like, few weeks that I've owned this mod, but, oh, okay. you know. Because that, that save file was, like, stored for a while, but then it just I goes away now for no reason. I didn't realize. You know what the yeah, most boring the... Pokemon gyms are? Uh, fighting gyms. Normal types. <laughs> I, okay, I, you know what? I believe it. I'm using a fighting type specifically in a normal type gym. Are, is normal weak to fighting? Yep. That's a weird weakness. It's just, it's, the normal type Pokemon are literally just regular animals. The fighting type, you're just beating animals. Nah, nice. Ten dollar small RCA TV, perfect for what I need, getting it tomorrow. God hand will look so... Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Wait, McMagic, you have a physical copy of God Hand? Yeah, there we go. Oh, no, he hacked his uh, PS2. That's right. That's Ew. right. I just walked into a room with one trainer standing in the middle, and he has no shoes on. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know what? If I ever, like, if my popularity ever spikes, I'm doing a replay of God Hand. You should. You should, like, start a thing. Yeah, I should. I should do. I should do a yearly playthrough of God Hand. <sighs> Hello, King Babom. You know what's funny? Every time the text box is on screen, my stream fucks up. That's weird. I like how as soon as I switch over to Mario sixty four, the fucking stream dies. <laughs> Oh well, makes sense. Pikmin 3 is a hot ticket item right now, so I will uh I'll definitely be playing it when it comes out, for sure. That's what gets me the views, man. People come to my channel for Pikmin content. You can hear Chain Chomp on uh in the background just going ape shit. Chain Chomp is fantastic. Yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. That seemed like it was a little too loud earlier, but now it seems fine. Is the game too loud for y'all, or is it or is it good? Everything is too loud. There, yeah, that's true. My existence is too loud. It's wild how many views Pikmin gets you. I know, right? Like, you, you know what? I'm very not, happy. It's because you're yeah, not I'm the Pikmin streamer. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, What is it? Yeah, man, like... 
I'm base. I'm single-handedly. I'm single-handedly reviving the Pikmin franchise. All I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. You yeah, guys should play Pikmin. Because here's I the play reason it. Nintendo forwarded it and then added new content. <laughs> um, that would be fucking astounding if it they, was. No, it's probably they, been in they, development they, for the, months. Like the end credits are like, thank you, Pav Live. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if that happens, I will fucking come. Key! Oh, oh okay. That sentence made me. Uh, can we get a ban on Duhan real quick? Yeah, I got it. Cool. Thank you, Derek. I appreciate your. I appreciate your effort. Why can't I see Duhan's username? There we go. Uh oh, I'm. I suck. Oh shit! How do I fix that? Did you actually ban him? No. What'd you do? I timed him out for like 600 seconds. Oh well, that's fine. <laughs> Just don't, don't do it again, though. Duhan. There we go. <laughs> Bless oh yeah, I forgot. In this game, you actually have a father, but you have to fight him at a gym, and he beats you. Ah. Get rid of the Bob icon, make it Olimar Gravestone. <laughs> That'd be funny. Uh-oh, Dohan said okay, so I guess I gotta ban him again. I've come to make an announcement. Shadow the Hedgehog's a bitch-ass motherfucker. He pissed on my fucking wife. That's right. He took his hedgehog fucking quilly dick out, and he pissed on my fucking wife, and he said his dick was this big. And I said that's disgusting. So I'm making a call-out post on my Twitter.com. Shadow the Hedgehog, you've got a small dick. It's the size of this walnut, except way smaller. I'm done. Size of walnut, but way smaller? I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little disappointed in myself of how much of that copy pasta I know by yeah, heart. Yeah, I am too. Yeah. I found a shiny Mighty Anna. Mmm, Mighty Anna is a shit Pokemon though. So <laughs> you can make it good. All right. It's an O. It's an uh, NU for competitives. Never used. So I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> Yeah, you know, all right. You know competitive Pokemon. I'm proud of you. Damn. I I think I can guess another Pokemon that's in the NU category. Which one? Uh, Love Disc. <laughs> I hate Love Disc's existence. <laughs> Love Disc had, like, a very niche use in one of the games, and then that use got completely nullified by another item, if I remember correctly. And Love Disc has never had a use. It was just a novelty. Oh. No. Oh, like okay it. then. <laughs> Funny heart-shaped Pokemon. <laughs> the millisecond you think of it, you have no control. You become Eggman. You know. Who... I need to. I'm gonna go ahead. Gonna Derek. be honest. This the, yeah? the Sonic movie. I forgot the name of the actor, but the actor who did Egg Eggman did a really fucking good Jim job. Jim Carrey. That was the. You forgot was... Jim motherfucking yes, Jim Carrey. Carrey. Jim Carrey. Yes, he also did the cable. I'm disappointed act. in you. I'm disappointed in you, Derek. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I need to commission an artist to draw me some icons uh, I as actually, Bob in an Olimar suit. I actually want to commission an artist to do one of my characters in the same like facial expression of pose as Jim Carrey from The Cable Guy. <laughs> Why? Because it's funny. It's funny meme. It's yeah, related to, enough. you know, you know, it's related to fair other enough. parts of my life. Yep, yep, yep. No, I know. The one that you outed, to, outed yourself on for all of your coworkers to see. Yeah, I still haven't heard anything. <laughs> I've gotten no response from them. I've gotten work emails, but that's that's to be expected. That's work emails. Uh, I sent, I sent a um, a text message to this guy I'm in contact with, where um, what's it called? Uh, he is a guy who lives close to me, and actually Ella is friends with uh, his kid. And oh. hold on, can I do Owlus? Huh? No! What? Oh, clicking the stick is ground pound. Oh no, I almost did owl list there. Hold on. Hold on. Am I a, am I a hardcore speedrunner? No! Why is my father no. beating me? Hold on. I can do this. Anyway, uh, he owns an AV company and I sent him a text message earlier asking him if he had any uh, openings or internships available. And I hope that goes somewhere, because I would very much like to get out of Michael's. My, once you go into Michael's, you never leave. It's like it's like Brazil. 
Ugh. Guess what, motherfucker? You're going to Brazil. This is what this stream is going to be. It's going to be me for like 20 minutes trying to do Owlless. Ah, oh, damn. Fuck. Come on, <laughs> motherfucker. Is this what you guys want to see? Is this what you all came to see? Are you not entertained? I'm really not entertained. No! I did the wrong. <laughs> I forgot that Snore is a Pokemon, as a move you can teach your Pokemon. What like, does it do? To, um, it does, uh, when they're asleep, it, 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 you, know, you can't use it unless they're asleep. And it just causes damage. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll take your position at Michael's just to get me out of the toxic relationship with Wendy. Oh no, is Wendy treating you wrong, Abby? Ah no! God Abby, I will come it. kick Wendy I will come kick Wendy's ass. That's fucking bullshit. Anyway, let's just fucking You know what? I can do you know, I can do Owlless another way. Can you though? Fuck Pikmin 3. Let's watch him do Owlless. So I, I'm assuming I'm no here's the thing. I'm, I'm, ass I'm assuming Duhon typed in Pav or Pav Live, and then his his phone or whatever, the, whatever, whatever, whatever Duhon is watching you on auto corrected it to pavement. I don't know what he means by that either. I I don't correct him. I don't care. Hi, King Womp. <laughs> All right, Duhon. Oh, you know you're right. You know what? You know what? Now I need art of Bob the Cat as pavement, like in my, in, in Animal Crossing. Damn it! You saw what I was trying to do. You saw what I was trying to do. Yeah, I saw that. Honestly, I'm getting more and more sick. disappointed in you. It was sick, though. It would have been sick if I did it. It's almost like you're trying to do a BLJ. I, I mean, I did a BLJ. Blood jumps? Blood jumps. I had to, you had to do a blood sacrifice every single time you do a BLJ. Okay, here we go. We're going to try it again. No! no I, gotta, I gotta fight the kid of cancer again. Caillou? No, uh, Wally from from Emerald Ruby and Sapphire. Oh, he has cancer? He what? has COVID or cancer? What? I don't. Okay, well. My like, computer shat itself today. I love technology. Nice. Throughout the storyline, he becomes a badass, though. I remember seeing vague hints about that when Alpha Rad beat it with only a uh, Mudkip. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah. Oh, I'm fucking mad. Incredible. We have computer bowels. The bowels of the computer. Yeah. It's when you accidentally knock over your PC case and it just fucking collapses. I always got mad that Wally got a Ralts right off of the get-go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ralts is easy to get on that route in the original games and the remakes. What'd you say, Derek? <laughs> Sorry. Ralts is easy to get on that route in the beginning of the game. Huh. There you yeah, go. so Ralts actually spawns there. That wasn't just a scripted event. Watch Simple Flips himself raid me. What the fuck? That'd be, that'd be a fucking blast, dude. That'd be really funny. Okay. Derek, I think we can hear Cam on your voice. Yes, yes. Uh, he has me on, like, a TV in the background, I think. No, uh, and so, I, 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 I just muted you. It should be a lot better. I think okay. my mic is... So my mic only really picks up when I talk. And so when I if I'm talking, it'll pick up everything in the background when I'm talking. Oh. Interesting. I don't know if you're hearing Pokemon or not, though. I am not hearing Pokemon. I gotta fix that shit. Everyone should hear sec? Pokemon. Wait, what? Pause it for a sec? Zoom. Enhance. Oh, no! Oh, no! No, don't tell me! Don't tell me you found him! Hold on! Did you find him? Is it Nathaniel fucking Bandy? What are we talking about? Oh, my God! The bullet bills look fucked in this. I don't like the bullet bills. And they're great. I don't like them. I don't they're like kinda, anything. They're kind of disturbing. That's why they're funny. Haha, <laughs> funny bill. 
every fucking time. It's Nathaniel Scuttlebug Bandy. Oh. Okay, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Kate, 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 don't worry about it. That's a very, that's a very inside baseball joke that Abby and I are making to each other. Yo, no! Oh, come on! I almost had Owlless. I almost had Owlless. That's not gonna work. That was a bad angle. That was a bad angle I did. Okay. I can do that consistently now. That's not gonna work. Nathaniel Bullet Bill Bandy every fucking time. Oh, yeah. Abby knows baseball at this point. Ha! 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 I almost fell. Abby is the baseball pro. I don't know, I'm just making shit up. I'm in the dugout. <laughs> Shame to see she dragged you down to that path. Well, I'm gonna play Yakuza at some point. Oh, you're playing Yakuza. I will at some point. It's on my docket. Is it though? Yes, actually. I like Yes. Yes. Yeah. Localized entirely within your docket. Stream. Localized yes. entirely within your stream. Yes. Pikmin 3. Are you, going, are you actually going to play it? No. You know how many games I buy and don't actually play? Pikmin 3 will fall the same fate. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm joking. I actually kind of want to play Pikmin 3 because I want to know what happens now. Oh, yeah, Ricky. Uh, I modded the game. A fuck ton of them. It's really only one mod. But, yeah, it uh, seeks to modernize the game and make it look like the 1996 uh, render art that it was based on. It's Ricky, very cool. Just so you're aware, this is the PC version. Yes, this is the PC port. And it is a proper port, unlike what Nintendo's doing with their fucking official solution. This is a Nintendo channel? Yeah. Fuck Nintendo. Okay, well, you we just... Well, we're all gonna buy Pikmin 3 and support them, though. It removes draw distance, yes. That's the big one. Okay. Oh, I thought this Ricky, was part of 3D All-Stars. Bro, wish, if, this was, if this was a part of 3D All-Stars, it'd be one of the best ports ever. Genuinely. Oh, by the, by the way, Cameron, on GBA yes. Temp, which is a heavy modding site for multiple consoles and other things. Oh, yeah, things, I, know, I know GBA I, Temp. Yeah, I, I, frequent, I, fr I frequent that website. Anyway, yeah. um, so someone I'm has fucking mad at myself. Someone has compiled the port of this for the Switch. And allows you oh. to install all these mods and everything. And you can install it as a Switch game. Oh. Hang on, did I just get a fucking Steam Steam message? What? Watch it be Ginger. Are yeah. you playing Star Wars? Gin yeah, no, it is Ginger. Hang on. Are you playing Star Wars? <sighs> Hold on. I have to open it up on my fucking app. Because Steam Oof. Chat, for whatever reason, just doesn't work on PC. I don't know why. Really? That's, your, that's, yeah. that's just you. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, by the way, if you plan on doing a Ryzen upgrade, wait until Zen 3 comes out. What the fuck? Everything alright? Yeah, hang on. I think I just accidentally tried to voice chat Ginger. Oof. Oh, oh, he invited me to play his fucking sword game. Sword game? Stream. Anyway, he interrupted my stream. Tell him he's not anyway. on <laughs> Yeah, because he interrupted Joking. the stream. I thought something was wrong for a moment. I was like, do I have to drop everything I'm doing right now? Oh, no, it's fine. I thought it was an emergency. No, 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 no. Amazing. Yeah, right? I was like, I'll take my half-ass working truck and drive an hour. No, you won't. But You don't want me to visit? No, I do. But not under those circumstances. Ginger invited yeah. you to play with his sword. Yeah, so basically Ginger found a game uh, on Steam that's basically just uh, Samurai Showdown, but for European swords instead of Samurai swords, and he's playing it. Okay. That's pretty much it. Is Ginger a big weeb? Yes. Uh, I know. <clears throat> Ginger is a gigantic weeb. Ginger's a lot of things. <laughs> oh, he called me a fag. Oh, how interesting. 
Tell me he's Bushido a Bushido Blade for game night win. Bro, okay, unironically. Yeah, I'm down to play Bushido Blade. God fucking damn it. I'm just gonna play as the character with the gun and kill you with it. I w is that Bushido Blade 2 where there's just a character with a straight up gun? Why is there a fisherman threatening me? That's Pokemon, why isn't there? That's not gonna work. That was a bad angle. The baddest. I fucking love Bushido Blade 1 and 2. I'm aware of Bushido Blade, but I've never uh I've never played it myself. And I would fucking love to play it. God, this game looks so fantastic on PC. Uh Mario? See? I mean, no, it's relevant. But, dude, so I just realized we're both paying better versions of officially Nintendo, officially released Nintendo games. Yeah, right? That were done better by fans? Yes. 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 Good lord, what is happening in there? Uh, an official PC port? An official PC port. In this part of the community. Localized entirely within my asshole. Anyway. I don't like we're just that. Gonna, we're just gonna exit course, uh, because I need to go to Cool Cool Mountain and get the key in Cool Cool Mountain. I know I can't do this, but I just tried to use the mouse wheel on 3DS Emulator. Nice. I like leaping down and clashing with my bud midair in the bamboo forest while cutting down. Set. I saw the bamboo level. That bamboo level is fucking sick. All right, here we go. We're gonna do some fucking slide. We're gonna do a slick slide. The slickest of slides. Is that that one VTuber we watched? <laughs> no, that's Pikami. Maybe. It was either Pikami or Korone-chan. Those are two... Those. Are, okay. I like VTubers now. Uh, Jagged oh. fucking ruined me. You weeb. But the only... Oh my fucking god, that was awful. The only VTubers I like are Pikami and Korone-chan. That was fucking slick. This uh, fisherman just gave me a good rod. I thought you were about to say this fisherman just gave me a gun. Uh, sure. I meant the level. Oh, no, th that level was uh, Snowman's Land. Um... <laughs> Snowman's Land. Um, that yeah, that's Snowman's Land, uh, and also TikTok Clock. TikTok Clock is fucked. But for right now, I'm trying to unlock Luigi as fast as possible. Um, well, yeah, that's, that's the main goal of this game. Exactly, right? Uh, what you need to do is uh, you need to find a save file location for this game and actually back up the file. Yeah, yeah, I'm aware. I'm concerned There's a lot it's gonna of happen. I need to do. I'm kind of concerned yeah. it's gonna happen again. So. Oh, yeah, it's probably going to happen again. I just don't want to have three streams in a row where you have to do the same thing over and over. Well, I mean, I'm not I'm not too concerned. If anything, I'll just grind it out myself. I'm, like, like super concerned. We are worried about your well-being. <laughs> okay. You're right, I'm not. I did do a, a, a No Man's Sky stream a while ago, and that game is actually pretty fucking good now. And especially oh, yeah. since the Origins update is coming out, or maybe it's already out. I'm not sure. It's but, uh, uh, it's already out, but like I I, I uh, started a playthrough a few like about a week ago, and I was enjoying it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good game now. I it's think that so. was the I think that was the first game Ab uh, the first stream Abby was on. We can test our button mashing skills when we clash in Bushido Blade. Ah ha ha ha! Abby, I have yet to meet a person who can mash buttons better than I can. I'm. I'm just saying, you you might be the one person who can beat me. I I don't I I'm not doubting that, but uh, I have yet to meet a person who can beat me in mashing. Button mashing. <laughs> oh shit! It might be. <laughs> are you an Are you an excellent masher? Oh boy. I'm pretty good at mashing buttons, but that's because I don't know anything else. The monster mash? Hmm. The horizontal monster mash. Dab. <laughs> it's gross. Alright, where are the rest of the keys at? Make a mean mashed potato. <laughs> yeah, you look like a fucking potato. Yahoo! 
pressing buttons is slang for a very bad thing. Wait, what the fuck? Cam, this is different than a flat who pressed more like Monhan armed wrestling. <laughs> oh my god. Now that Monster Hunter Rise is going to be on Switch, Abby. Ooh, I'm going to. Ooh, we got to do that arm wrestling shit. Ooh, that's going to be so, fun. So, what you're going to do is you're going to drift in Monster Hunter Rise, right? Well, no, because I actually take care of my controllers. Oh. Uh, you don't drop them every five minutes like I do? Well, I, I mean, to be I, fair... No, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know mm -hmm. what's happened to me in the last two months, but I have dropped my controllers a significant amount of time in my life. In the last two months, and I have in the last 25 years. Okay, I actually have a funny story involving dropping a piece of technology. Um, so... You start in the middle and work your way down, pushing the blade further and further, but you can push back. And it won't stop until someone loses. Oh, it's an endurance match. Ooh, I like it. Um, anyway, my funny story. So, I... This is back when I traded my Game Boy Player for a Game Boy Color. Uh, including the disc. Yeah, right? The bad... The, the low point in my life. Um... So I can drag out for a minute with two skilled mashers. Hell yeah! Um, anyway, I had his Game Boy Color, right? And I, it, I like tripped and it, I was in class, right? So I was like playing Game Boy Color just like in class when it was over waiting for my fucking bus to be called. Um, and so I don't know what happened. I guess I like tripped and then the fucking thing like flew out of my hand and landed on the corner and a, a sizable chunk of the blue plastic just snapped off and went flying in the other direction. Um, then I traded the Game Boy back to him, and he was totally fine with it. <laughs> I think I gave him a game also, just because I felt like I, I felt like if I had given him nothing, I would have done him wrong. Huh. Oh, I remember where the key is on this level. Okay, I remember where it is. Anyway. Man, this was man. uh man just man. I'm, I'm thinking about I'm thinking about this PC port and just how good it is and like how, how much shit has been Nintendo fixed, has been how, treating us. Like how thick like how, how fixed it is. Yeah, exactly. Like engine, how like fixed engine it level is. bugs are fixed. Except like for BLJ, like, you can't you you can't leave that out. Oh yeah, BLJ has to be in. Like if you fix that, yeah. then you're just you're just wrong on all levels. You're playing like a Shinro. worse version without BLJ. Yeah. Why would you play a version of Mario 64 without the BLJ? It's fucking BLG ridiculous. BLJ is essentially a movement option. That's what how I see it is. Uh, basically, that's what it is. It's like wave dashing in melee. What is BLG? Oh. A BLJ is a backwards long jump. There's a uh, there's a clip of it. A big log good. Derek just fucked up. How did that I fuck made up? a trade. I made a trade my mom hated back in high school. My 3DS XL for a 2DS and a PSP. It was a dumb trade monetarily, but that's how I found Monhun Freedom Unite on PSP. Ooh. I feel like that was worth it in the end. You know how I was introduced to Monster Hunter? I was introduced to Monster, Hunt, Monster Hunter via Pro Jared. Mm, let that. Sink I was introduced. In. I was introduced to Monster Hunter after buying Monster Hunter Generations on Switch. I mean, on 3DS, and then never playing it. <laughs> yeah. I actually that sounds like that. you. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. You're a little, a little less than halfway through the story of Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Instead of there's a legendary Pokemon that instead of being given it, I mean, instead of battling it, you're just given it with its mega. I'm talking about Lucario. No, Latios. You're just given Latios. Yeah. Jesus. In the original games, you had to hunt for it. Like it would fly across the entire region. You had to hunt for it. Let that sink in. He's been knocking for hours. He's cold. If they're cold, Duhan. let them in. Duhan. If anything, you should know that Kate is the least gamer amongst all of us, and that's fine. You don't Duhan. need to be a hardcore gamer to be... Alright, Derek, time him out. I got it. I've literally got I got mod view open, and I'm literally just sitting on Duhan's name the entire time. Yeah. Why would I be a gamer? I have taste. 
You know what? I'll accept that. That was a good. That was a good roast. Kate is. Yeah, Kate is shaped. friend shaped. Kate is friend shaped. She's a fucking uh, rock Pikmin. Dude, when I'm playing games, I rest my legs on my PC case. Oh, well, I rest my uh, I rest my legs on my subwoofer. So. I did that for a little bit. For some reason, my case is just more comfortable for some reason. It's also a big ass case, and I can like tip it over by accident, and everything will be fine. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Much better. I am Dwayne Wait a minute. Johnson. I just found a hmm? plot hole. What? So, after you defeat your dad at the Pokemon Gym, which is the fifth gym badge, and you start going to the other side of the region, you get this is because this is actually this is actually added content from the on the remake versus uh versus what was in the originals. You get oh. stopped by the champion of the game of the story, and you get you get stopped by the champion of the region. And mm -hmm. Latios comes down is basically asked, essentially saying it needs help, not actually saying, mm -hmm. but you get what I'm saying. And it picks yeah. you, it takes you and Steven to this mysterious island, and you're it needs help protecting its brother from Team Magma or Team Aqua, whatever game you're playing. Yeah. And then right at the end of all that, you decide, okay, well I'm gonna take it for myself. Okay. Yeah. So you know, fuck, fuck Latios. Hey, Duhan. Hey, Duhon, I'm going to give you... I know you're young. I'm going to give you a big bit of life advice here. Never ask a woman if she's fat. Hang on. <laughs> Just... You, you don't do it, buddy. You don't do it. Okay, it'll time Donkey. you out, too. Wait, I missed a red coin. Where the fuck did I miss a red coin at? What? To give my dad that advice. <laughs> give my dad that advice. Ugh. Maybe. Well, is isn't your dad is your dad a first generation immigrant? Like I'm I'm genuinely asking. I don't know that side of the story. Cause if he is, I guess that makes sense. I don't know your I don't know your dad, so I don't I don't know. Yeah, he is. Okay, I guess that makes sense. So there's a move called Psycho Shift that I'm reading the mm -hmm. description of. It's called Using the power of suggestions, the user transfers all the status conditions to the target. Ah. Huh. The power of suggestions. So if I so suggest... it's literal. So it's literally sissy hypnosis. The move. Yeah. So it's like, hmm. Do you want to get? Do you want to be poisoned? Hmm. Sure. No. <laughs> yes. Yes. May I see? No. You're poisoned. Come back All when right, you're a little richer. It's Bossor. He's on crack. Eh, Wait, why did you get auto modded? What did Kate get auto modded for? Sissy hypnosis. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> Can someone allow, allow the phrase "sissy hypnosis"? Oh, it was the term "sissy." What? Yeah, so hypnosis is fine. Oh my god. Dude, I know a dude fucking... who fetishes hypnosis. Hmm. Yeah. Kate, Strange stay times. ignorant. Yeah, Kate, stay ignorant. She's genuine. You know, you just kind of ruined that move for me, because now I just realized what we're actually talking about. <laughs> Why? There is so much fucking detail in this game. Uh, in Strange Pokemon or in Pokemon, <laughs> Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire would not play it on a 3DS, and you start noticing all the small details. Like, Ga Game there. Freak has, has two teams, Team A, Team B. Team A's yeah. always work on the mainline games, which is usually Ruby and Sapphire, yep. uh, Diamond and Pearl. Team B is working on, you know, Fire, Red, Leaf, Green, Emerald, Platinum, Heart, Gold, so some of the remakes and the third director's cut, while Team A yeah. works on the engines in the meantime, and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, you've explained Team this B always makes some really fucking good stuff. Yeah, because they don't have to worry about making the engine. Yeah, they just get given the garbage engine and make, and then make it look nice. Yeah, exactly. The stage looks great. Hell yeah, it does. When do we get Boo? When do we get Boo unlocked? You don't. Because I need to go into that courtyard. I'm courtyard back. Oh, what's up, Ricky? Welcome back. Ricky, we All missed right. you. I You're not allowed to, to leave again. <laughs> I have to remember where the fucking uh, rest of the keys are. 
Team B, team B made, made the Team B did yes. not make they did not make spin-offs. Oh, they didn't. Oh, who made Yeah, cuz re remakes and third versions are not considered spin-offs. Spin-offs are usually essentially contracted out to other companies. Genius Sonority ah. is one of them, uh, a few other people. So Is Genius Bandai Sonority? Net... Hold uh, on, Derek. Yeah. Is Genius Sonority where Geniosity came from? Yes. But you Nice. You, you cracked the code. D okay, you, has you... has anyone made that connection other than nope. me? Really? Yeah. I was playing Pokemon Coliseum one day and it just popped up. I was like, oh, there's my online handle. Wow. Interesting. And also, this is Pokemon, this was Coliseum on an original GameCube, so this tells you how long ago I made that name. Oh, yeah. I mean, dude, my fucking online alias stems from a name that my dad gave to our Nintendo Wii back in 06. Okay, if you look up that company, they're essentially Game Freak's bitch, so. Yeah. Give us more and also, Ranger names. And, and also, one of Ranger their artists. Names. One of one of their art directors, uh, is the only is now the lead art director for Pokemon for Pokemon at Game Freak, and he's also one of the few Americans that works at Game Freak. Ah, oh, interesting. Yeah, he, he was he was the creator of Shadow Lugia. Nice. And then he created the really cool looking Poison Dragon type for Pokemon huh. that I really like. What's, he's the, also what's the one? Oh no! He, ah! He's responsible for most of the designs in uh, Sword and Shield as well. Cool. It's, they're not. They're not bad. So, I mean, that's, a, that's all. That's all that counts to me. Level. Yeah, there's, there's a also a key. Level. He also designed a Pokemon that was shaped like a key. So you know. Oh no. There's a tie-in right there. Why do I have three Dragon Knights? Um, oh hey Kate. Uh, not Kate. Uh, Abby. Where is it? I'm gonna turn on Gizmo Cam for this. Uh, you can see my Dude, fucking Dude, Gizmo Cam is the best. Where is it? I, I have my DS games in a new spot. They're right above my fucking desk. Uh, where oh, is yeah. it? Here it is. I, I, I thought you were about to say above your bed, and I was like, dude, you're not worried about that falling in your sleep and killing no. you? Pokemon Ranger in the box. with. Uh, Wait, you have Pokemon Ranger Archer. in the box? Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, man. I played Pokemon Ranger when it came out. You mind if I just dump that? <laughs> I mean, yeah, sure. Go nuts. Yeah, I'll, I'll show up there and be like, hey, I need Pokemon Ranger, and then leave. My name nah, is uh, from a name my... that Aaron came up with when he was 11. Oh my god. Yeah, that's my funny. my uh three my new 3DS XL uh, can dump DS games, but the CPU gets warm, so the, hot, the bottom of it gets hot when it does it. Ah. Okay. So don't do yeah, multiple it... in a row is what you're saying. I mean, yeah, but it, it also takes a long time. It's oh. not a powerful CPU. That's true. That's true. Yeah, like, no, it... um What's funny about DS games in particular? I'm sorry to interrupt, but I have to. I want to. I want to really quick talk about this because it's really funny how I how I ended up getting all these boxes. Um, because like, oh my god, fucking damn it! It's the end of the stream. I'm going to get this fucking red coin star and then I'm ending the stream. Um, so so fucking upset. I'm I'm very upset because fucking fucking physics don't work. Anyway, uh, <laughs> gamer, I'm gamer raging. I'm a I'm baby raging right now. Gamer right moment. Now, oh. Um, <clears throat> we're here for three more hours. No, I'm gonna get this red coin star. Anyway, back when I was a dumb, stupid child, um, I did not keep my DS games in their boxes. I kept them in little carrying cases because they were just tiny little cartridges and I had to take them places and I didn't want to lug those, those boxes around everywhere. But I didn't throw them away. I did not throw away the boxes. I kept them. And so all of my boxes are original from when I bought them, and they're Impressive. mint. Because I was a smart cookie and decided to save all my boxes. Why do I have a Spanish Regigigas? Now, of course, the um, the downside of this situation is that uh, when... Um, hold on, is there... A, where the fuck is the key? Isn't there a key in this level? The downside of this is that when I lose cartridges... The games, uh, when I lose carts, the boxes stay. So I have a bunch of boxes that are just of games that I've lost over the years. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, I got a bunch of cases of just games that I need, to, I need to buy again. Good thing about that, though, is I don't need to buy the cases. I can buy them loose, and that's way cheaper. Oh, yes. How many green keys you got? If you get them all, you unlock Luigi. Oh, yeah, I know. That's what I'm doing right now. I got six of them. 
But uh, thanks for the and tip, if you man. Don't, and if you don't unlock Luigi, you'll die. So. Exactly. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll unlock Luigi off cam, and I'll uh, get back to that whenever we play Mario 64 again. I will look into why my save data got corrupted. <laughs> Hopefully, if I can recover it, I can get all that shit back. Um, how many do you need? You need 10. There are 10 total keys, and once you get them, you go into the castle courtyard, and there's a blue pipe, and then you unlock Luigi through that. Also, I chat, actually... I, will, I, I will kill him hmm. off cam. Don't worry. Oh, of course. Um, yeah. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I have actually... Nice. Before I go... Ah! Thanks, uh, XZHER3R. -R. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Real quick, I want to talk about my copy of Tetris DS. Um, you didn't say thanks to Ricky earlier, but you know. I I said thanks to Ricky. Did you? I didn't hear it. Yes, I did. Say it again. No, I'm joking. Do it again. All right. All right. Do it again. Fine then. Fine then. Nice. I'm, not, I'm joking. You don't have to do it again. Wow! Thanks, Ricky, for the follow. I really appreciate it, man. There you go, Ricky. I got your back. Okay. Anyway, so um, I didn't buy my copy of Tetris DS. Uh, I was with I was with uh, my buddy Alex Sims. Uh, back when, back in like junior high school, um, and we were hanging out at his place, and he just never played DS games, and he had he ah. had that copy of Tetris DS, right? Because he was like a PlayStation kid, right? And he's like, "Oh, bro, you got Tetris DS? Yo, can I buy this off you?" And he's like, "Bro, you can just have it." <laughs> I might leave. That's cool, Ricky. The stream's about to end anyway. Don't worry about it. Um. But yeah, he just gave me his copy of Tetris DS. Super chill guy. Uh, I still interact with him, I still interact with him on Twitter occasionally. But uh, occasionally, yeah, I, yeah, he's pretty cool. Anyway, thanks for showing up to the stream, everybody. Uh, sorry X for sh for having you show up like right at the end of the stream. Um, tomorrow is GameCube night. I'm very excited for that. Uh, yeah. Maybe maybe one of these days we'll be able to get Mario Tennis to work. Maybe who knows? Um, but Frolf works now. Frolf works. So if, if it comes to that, I can show y'all what Frolf is. I'm very happy. For, I'm, I'd be, I'm very excited for that. So, yeah. Get excited for GameCube night tomorrow. Um, hey, I'm set up. So, yeah. You are. Oh, yeah, you are set up now, Kate. Kate can participate in GameCube nights. Anyway, if you want to so learn proud. how to participate... If you want to learn how to participate in GameCube Nights, uh, you can go on my Discord channel, and there's a little video in the pins in the notification channel of how to participate. I recommend playing Mario 64 Co-op for the PC port. You get the same way as Render 96 Remake. Anyways, I will turn <sighs> you to the next stream. Thank you, X. I appreciate that. Cool. I'm going to yeah. be streaming tomorrow, uh, 7 to 9 p.m. Central. That's the sort of schedule going forward. I'm going to change the schedule going up, but I'll make a big post about it on my Discord channel. Ooh! <laughs> anyway... Have a good night, everybody.